So, you decide to play the hit game Team Fortress 2 and decide to play as Scout, and you die. Over. And over. And over again. Lucky for you, there's a solution! Welcome to the Ultimate TF2 Dummies Guide, a series where I teach you how to play and improve on TF2, or to die less. And today we're covering Scout, God's favorite annoying little brat from Boston. You have any idea how fast I am? How fast is fuck, boy? Scout has a health around 125 HP in the base game, same as Spy, Sniper, and Engineer. So in one word, Skill can die fast and charging at first into a group of enemies is maybe not the best idea. But in exchange for low health, Scout gains... SPEED! Skill is one of the fastest class in the base game and is the only class with the ability to double jump, which allows you to get from point A to B quickly and get out of danger fast. And Scout also has a passive ability that allows him to capture the point or push the card twice as faster than the other classes, which can help your team a lot. And since Scout is fast and has 50% bluff of Frenchman, it gave him the ability to choose to either fight or... Remember, Scout is fast yet also fragile, and in some cases, the best option is to run away. Scout has two main tasks, to flank and pick up enemy classes. So in one word, being a annoying little prick. First, flanking. Flanking is Scout's best friend due to Scout being a pick class which allows him to pick up important enemy players or kill unsuspecting enemies. It doesn't mean you have to flank all the time, you could just say fuck it and just jump right into the front line and still be effective. It just narrowed down to dodging well and playing your cards right. And now for the targets. The main classes that Scout should target are medics and snipers with Medic to massively cut down the enemy team healing and Sniper to make your teammate's life much easier. Delman and Spy are also easy picking, which I know it seems scary to face a Delman that can game at you with two pipes, but as long as you get up close and dodge Delman projectiles, he's easy picking, and Spy... I mean, what do you think? Scout made weapons are the Scout for his primary, the pistol for his secondary, and the Mofat for his melee. As Scout, you're mainly going to be using your primary often, with maybe using your secondary to finish up an enemy player. And the loadout that I recommend is the Scout for a primary, every pistol variant, and the <clears throat> mad milk for a secondary, and the atomizer for melee. The Scout is just a great weapon. It's reliable, has good burst damage, and overall a great, if not one of the best primary weapon for Scout of all time. I mean sure, the Force of Nature and Soda Popper are a solid option if you can aim well, but it only has two shots compared to the Scout Gun, and assuming you're like me, you're gonna miss a lot. And the Pistols and Inferians are good as finishers with two Inferians serving different purpose. With the Winger, although having 5 shot, giving you a higher jump when equipped, and the Freeboy Pocket Pistol also has a low shun number, but has a higher shun number than the Winger and heals you when hitting an enemy. And on the other end, you have the <clears throat> Mad Milk, a drawbow that when drawn an enemy player will be covered in <clears throat> Milk, and when you and your teammates shoot at the Milk covered enemy player, it heals you and your teammates. It can also extinguish teammates on fire, and it's a pretty solid secondary. I mean, I do prefer the pistols over the <clears throat> mad milk, but it's still a decent secondary. And finally, the Automizer. The Automizer is a variant of the stock fat that, when equipped, gives you an extra jump. And you're not going to use your melee all that much, so you might as well take extra mobility. And I know some might say the Boston Basher is also a good melee weapon for Scout because it could build up Uber Charge much faster, which, other than that, it's not really great. And now, for counters. Scout main counters are Soldier, Heavy, Pyro, and Engineer, which I know some people might be confused and say, Ethan, Engineer aren't really a threat. What are you talking about? Which is, yeah, Engineer by himself isn't really that much of a threat. Usually, but... Yeah, that's why. 
Meet the Engineer Sentry, a stationary turret that has the aim of an aimbot and is Scout Worst Nightmare. A single Sentry can vaporize Scout in seconds, and even a level 1 and mini Sentry can still be a pain in the ass. And since Scout has no effective way to deal with a Sentry, you either A, run away or find another route, or B, Pray that your teammate destroyed a sentry for you. Pyro Soldier and Envy are also a threat, with Soldier literally able to one shot Scout with a direct hit. But as long as you keep moving and keep your distance from Pyro and dodging with Soldier and Envy, you'll be fine. Here's a tip whenever you're fighting another player and you see your spacebar on your keyboard, spam it. Scout is not only fast, but also has a small hitbox, and the enemies will have an even harder time trying to hit you. In a famous quote from Sun Tzu once said, quote, any character that is fast and has a small hitbox is a bitch to deal with. Another tip. If you see a teleporter, spare for a team. Scout is already faster than all the other classes combined with some exceptions, and sparing a teleporter can help get slower or more important classes to the front line faster. And that's it. I hope this video helped you improve or at least learn something from this guide. Now go out there and pick up some medics, kill some friendlies, and be the annoying force in nature that God intends you to be. Yeah! Yeah!